Well, howdy there, Internet people. It's Bo again. So today we are going to do a Q&A. This will be the one for April. I'm going to try to do one of these every month now. And they will be either questions like this that I don't know what they are until I read them and they're picked up by the team, or they will be questions that I tell them to put in with them because I thought they were good, but they weren't enough for a full video. Um... And then also coming up on this channel soon will be the Community Garden one and the Relief one. Both of those videos are in their final stages. I know they've been coming for like eight months now. Um, okay, so let's dive on in here. How did you know Trump was lying? <laughs> he was talking. Now, uh, I'm assuming this is about when he said he was going to get picked up and then wasn't. Generally speaking, when it comes to Trump, I put absolutely no stock in what he says, one way or the other. Like, I, I don't immediately assume he's lying. I don't immediately assume he's telling the truth. It means nothing to me. It Nothing. Like, I don't base anything off of what Trump says. Um, and that just comes from long experience of having covered him. Stop being for reproduction rights. As a Christian, I can tell you the 100% foolproof way to not get pregnant is to not spread your, not spread your legs. Wow. Okay. Uh, we'll do this in sections. Stop being for reproduction rights. No. And, and as far as the rest of this, you're, you're removing the whole idea of consent, which is something that should definitely remain part of this conversation. Aside from that, I would also point out that as a Christian, your belief system is based on the fact that the rest of your statement is not true. Just saying. Why the obvious smirk when you mention the names of the two Democrats arrested? Okay, this came in a couple of times. Um, recently in Florida, there were uh, two high-level Democratic Party members who were picked up at a demonstration. One of them was Senate Minority Leader Brooke. The other one was the, the chair of the, the party here in Florida, Nikki Freed. When I was covering it, when I got to their names, I did laugh. That wasn't uh, me smirking in a no smirking zone. That was camaraderie. Uh, if you don't know, I, I actually hold... Uh, I think that Nikki Freed is exactly what the Democratic Party needs in Florida. And in my interactions with her, she's been a very genuine person. Uh, that wasn't me making fun of them. That was a very supportive laugh. Um, I'm the farmer from that video on systemic racism. You helped, but since it came up again, what really helped was somebody in the comment section talking about black people being called well-spoken. I know what that means for me and you and never made the connection. That really helped me a lot. That makes sense. Uh, so this is a follow-up. A while back, a farmer sent in a message asking for evidence of systemic racism. I provided anecdotal stuff from their own life, stuff that they could see. Um, and that topic came up again recently, and I referenced it. So there's that. The well-spoken, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. If you don't know uh, people who sound like me, if we can string together a coherent sentence that is about anything other than like rebuilding a carburetor, uh, we will be called well-spoken or articulate. And it means the exact same thing. It means when, uh, when, when people say that about black people. Because the default is the assumption that if you sound like me, you're not very smart. And... Yeah, I can see how that would that would hit home for him. Uh, yeah, if, if you don't know, there are a whole lot of people with accents who, when they move out of the South or they get a professional job, they go out of their way to learn how to talk without an accent and speak in a very clear and non-regional manner so nobody immediately assumes that we're an extra from deliverance. Um, I believe... Uh, that's known as the customer service voice. We have the exact same thing. Um, your school security video over on the other channel, this channel, was lost on a lot of people 
They don't understand that none of that has to make it look like a prison. Yeah, I noticed that after the fact. I noticed that after the fact. Um, I, I put out a video over here detailing how to put in basically ringed security to create a delay for first responders to arrive. Um, all of that sounds really complicated and sounds like it would make the, the school look like a fortress. It doesn't. Most like high-end hotels and resorts that you've been to have better security than what's outlined there. Um, it doesn't have to look that way. Uh, why did you cover the Florida arrested instead of Tennessee? Your entire comment section was begging for your take on it. Not really complaining. It's your channel. Cover what you want. But how do you make decisions on what to cover? So at the same time as what happened in Florida happened with the Democratic Party members getting arrested, there was the, the thing that has now just turned into a massive national news story in Tennessee. Um, generally speaking, when there are two topics that are kind of closely related or lead to the same point, and one of them is getting a bunch of coverage and the other is not, I will cover the one that isn't getting coverage. If everybody in the comments section is asking about something, I know they already know about it. So there's no urgency to to put out a video on it because it's already getting a lot of coverage where the other thing may end up getting missed if coverage isn't put on it. So that's that's something that is pretty common in my decision-making process there. Um, can you explain and defend the kick the box meme? That woman is still getting trashed over a common joke that people don't understand or at least explain why people aren't getting it or coming to her defense. Um, yeah, I cannot defend that joke. I can explain it, and I and as I do, I'm willing to bet you will realize what the difference is. Uh, if you don't know, a person made a, a, a joke, and, but it's not the same joke. It's a variation of a joke that was told for a really, really long time, and nobody got upset. They changed it just a little bit, and everybody got mad, to include vets, um, just analysts, people who lo look at rights, people who cover these types of issues. Um, so the, the joke, and this is in the context of Iraq, the joke that was told that made everybody get upset was me trying to convince a local to go kick that box. Now, if you don't know, the boxes, anything interesting on the side of the road, you have to assume that it's something that might go boom. And variations of this joke were told for a really, really long time. But if you're familiar with the, the, those jokes, think about the difference. What are the other ones you know? sitting here waiting for EOD, waiting for the people to come clear it, has me ready to go tell the LT his compass is in that box. We got an interesting box in the road, go get the new guy. Sitting here so long, I've decided I'm gonna just start lighting up every, bo in every box we see on the road. All of the other jokes are about the frustration of waiting. And they're not talking about hurting a civilian. That's the difference. That's why nobody came to her defense. Um, and that, that's, that, that was where the line got crossed. The, the joke transferred from being super frustrated standing around to hurting somebody. That was, and, and no, there aren't going to be a lot of people that are going to defend that. Um, especially, so if you don't know, the whole purpose of this this practice, which was kind of dangerous. You're standing around. Um, the whole purpose of it was to make sure that no U.S. troops or civilians got hurt. That That's why they were doing it. Um, yeah, that's why that occurred. And I don't, I don't know anybody that would be like, ah, no, that's totally cool. Um, that's, it changed the joke from frustration at standing around to hurting an innocent person. That's 
it, it's it it's it seems like it's just a slight variation of something that was told for a long time, but it totally changed the joke. Generally speaking, any jokes that are common in wartime don't go out of your way to make them edgier. That's not a good idea. Um, Why are you not talking about the leaked secret documents? That happened like two days ago. Um, but I'm not. <laughs> I have a hunch on that. I, ha I have a hunch on that. And I will let y'all know what my hunch is in, in a few weeks. Um, but no, I'm, I'm probably not going to talk about that unless they go ahead and pick somebody up for it. Um, what are the people complaining about? talking about here, this is exactly what I was taught. Uh, it's a screenshot and it has a, a video, but I can't actually, yeah, I don't get to watch the video, so I don't know. Oh, okay. Um, now I see why this was here. Okay. So it looks like the person is demonstrating what's called a quick peek and, and this is a person on a range demonstrating how to do something. And yeah, they're in kind of a weird pose um, because they're caught in action. The important part to note here is that that's Pat McNamara. Um, generally speaking, whatever he's saying is right. Um, so uh, I, I'm looking at some of the comments that, that are here below it and he he would yeah he wouldn't make it in real life total amateur for those who don't know who this is this guy was like a delta weapons instructor um funny but but yeah without being able to watch the video i can't tell you anything other than the comments are humorous given who it is what do you think of the youtube studio app i saw somebody say it was bad for productivity and would hurt your channel uh i don't see it that way at all i think it's a really good tool um, I mean, I can see how some people might get like sucked into it, but I mean, that, that provides you a lot of information at, at the palm of your hand right there. I, I think it's a good idea. I, I, I use it. How does the economy grow without printing more money? I always see them say the economy is growing and the GDP is growing. Doesn't that just mean they printed more money? No. You have money supply, and that that plays into it, but you also have velocity. A dollar, a single printed dollar, can change hands multiple times. The faster it changes hands, the stronger the economy is, the more it's growing. That's, that's what that is, because you're adding up all of the times when you're talking about the GDP. You're talking about pretty much all the times that dollar changes hands. So the more economic activity, the faster the money moves, the larger the GDP. Can you just not accept some people don't want, well, I'm not going to say that word, um, don't want suggestive things and want biblical teachings instead, then send them to a Christian school. Um, and if you want, you, you really, really might want to read the Bible, actually sit down and read it. Um, there are quite a few suggestive things in it, but okay. So those are the questions. Those are the questions that came in. Um, so I hope everybody kind of enjoyed that and, uh, there is more coming on this channel soon. Anyway, it's just a thought. Y'all have a good day.